welcome to my very own first video. My name is Manucrafter and today I'll show you how to make your very own custom Harry Potter inspired wand. Let's go to the business! First off, we start by using a wooden dowel rod. I measured my rod, you know, pounds intended, to be approximately 30 centimeters in length. After that, I needed to sand the ends because I basically broke the other end and to round up the tip of the wand. Now, here you can see how I took the measurements of the wooden dowel and applied them to a piece of paper. That piece of paper will be later used to make some details more out. I cut the paper pieces and applied them to the wand using just a regular household glue. I wrap the paper around the wooden doll and let it sit for a bit for the glue to take in. And now it's time to seal everything. I use a mixture of wood glue, acrylic paint, brown in this case, and water, just to dilute it a bit. the mixture to the paper. 
what to absorb. Once that is done, I use the hair dryer to make the process a bit quicker. And here you can see why I said I changed my mind. I decided to go with some pieces of toilet paper, dab them into this mixture that I made of wood glue and water, alongside with some acrylic paint. Mix it all up add a bit more water and apply it to the toilet paper. Now, I wasn't sure with what I was going at right here. I didn't have a certain idea. The idea just came into my mind. I was just going with the flow. Here you can see how I decided to Let's try and roll toilet paper damped with this mixture and put it around like little wires. I decided to go with three lines instead of one. And here you can see that I toilet paper is not quite sticking well to the wooden dowel and everything therefore I needed to add some more uh, I needed to add a bit more of the wood glue undiluted of course I apply it generously to the future wand Lines are done. I proceed to making additional details. I was not sure what, with what I was going for, but it came out not surprisingly well. Considering I had no clue what I was doing. Yes, you can see here how I applied the additional paper. Round up the texture and everything. Make the handle a bit more visible. Make it pop. Some more layers of toilet paper. Yeah, yeah. The idea for this one was to make it cheap and easy to make. And here you can see the finishing process. Apply toilet paper all over. And using my finger, squeeze out all of the excess moisture to make the wand a bit more creakier, so to say. Here, the wood glue dried, I decided to make something like a paste. I took a small bottle cap, put in some wood glue, acrylic paint and speckle paste. In this case, it's powdered speckle paste, which is dirt cheap and easily obtainable. Mixed in a bit of water 
made it quite thick.